Hello guys, welcome to Right Back Be The Righteous Channel. My name is Serge and in today's video, I would like to talk to you guys about something interesting, okay? What am I gonna talk to you guys about? What kind of vehicle should you be driving for Uber and Lyft? This is what we're gonna focus on primarily. I'm gonna show you guys some recent examples and I'm gonna talk about some past experiences and today's experiences when it comes to choosing a vehicle, using a vehicle, and how much money you could actually make with that vehicle, at least working for Uber. So let's begin. So today's a Saturday. This is a recent video that, that I'm recording. Just um, prior to making this video, I've made a screen recording video just showing you guys what kind of ride, ride offers am I getting, okay? So that being said, I did a lot of cancellations. Even prior to recording the video, and then I decided to like, Okay, let me just plug in, charge my Tesla while I'm just saying no to all of these ride offers just to see what kind of ride offers we're gonna get. All right, so this is a Saturday out of all days. So <clears throat> here's the ride offer, that way you guys could see it. So it's probably gonna be married to you. So like, let me just tell you guys, this is a, a ride offer that I'm about to pick up right now. You might be thinking why, right? This is comfort. Comfort, okay? I don't know if this is Comfort Electric, but this is Comfort. $20.24 they're paying me. 17 minutes to the pickup, which is equa equates to 7.9 miles away, which is basically eight miles, all right? 29 minute drive, which is 16.7 mile trip. So that is basically 17 miles, um, you know, trip. So how many miles is this total? 25 miles guys 25 mile trip uh which is also going to be like past 40 minutes um so let's see so we got 17 minutes to the pickup probably wait time is gonna be at least three minutes that's 20 minutes that's 29 minutes basically 30 minutes because i mean Uber always underestimates how long it takes you to get there so 30 minutes plus 20 minutes equals what? 50 minutes for $20.24. Now, why is that important? Guys, that's a comfort ride. If you were somebody that was thinking, let me get this comfort comfort vehicle, comfort electric, or like something comfort, right? Because I'm gonna make more money? Think again. These are the type of offers that I've been getting recently. I don't think I'm the only one and I'm in the Charlotte market. Guys, I've been in ride share for two years, three months, approximately right around there, okay? Boy, oh boy, did I see a lot of changes um, during that time. We went from getting paid per mile, per minute, you know, and then later on fuel surcharges and everything else to basically not being paid per mile, per minute, you know, and fuel surcharge was taken away, obviously, and fuel prices are expensive right now. Uh, so with that with that being said guys oh my gosh i'm so glad i did not buy a brand new vehicle my first year in uh, last year would, would have been my second year in uh and this is my third year in so technically because uh, you know i did not start working exactly in the middle in, you know beginning of the year so my first year in i almost bought a Tahoe like I was between buying a Suburban and a Tahoe which was a black one they wanted to sell it to me for $38,000 and they were pretending like it's a good deal with like 130,000 miles on the speedometer like for $38,000 and I was thinking okay at the time I was prior you know primarily working for Lyft and they were paying per mile per minute they were doing all the good things and I looked at what qualified and I would sort of qualified, you know, like I would, I would qualify for Lyft's version of Uber Black, basically. Uber Black Excel, so I thought I'm gonna be qualifying. But I later learned that, well, that's how Lyft look at it. Uber, Daho does not qualify as a Uber Black Excel. Maybe it might qualify as a, just a Uber Black, you know. But, um, which would most, most be like, I guess like a Lux Black maybe that's kind of like how it would qualify but guys I would have that $38,000 payment uh, since it's a used vehicle it was like a year uh, I think it was a 2018 um, so the payment I, I can't remember what the payment was gonna be on it 
But I was looking at it, I'm thinking, okay, it's doable. I mean, I could make some money, right? But you know, guys, what we never anticipate is the changes that's going to come. You might lose your job. Like, I got permanently deactivated from Lyft, okay? I did not see that coming. I had platinum status, five-star rating, over 5,000 rides. Um maybe over seven, like, okay, I'm a little bit confused, but definitely over 5,000. Um, and I would think that, you know, I done my part to do the best I can, right? Provide the best service. And I always had a clean car and I'm either renting a nice car or driving a nice car, you know? And that's the way I always treat business. And I figured, look, if I'm going to be doing this Lyft or Uber thing, might as well, like I thought in my mind, might as well make the best out of it and get the best vehicle for the job because you are spending that time there anyways. Might as well get paid more for it. Man, that could have not been further from the truth. All of these things have dramatically changed. And I think this is kind of like this next phase is a recent change. Because our pay is no longer based on anything at Uber or Lyft, they could pay us whatever they want. It doesn't matter you got an Excel vehicle. It doesn't matter you got a Comfort or a Comfort electric vehicle or a green vehicle. You're going to be getting paid Excel prices or worse. Like, what's Excel prices anymore? Sometimes I'm getting Excel prices at, like, very high rates where the Comfort does not even offer that. So... The green was already paying the same like X, and now the Comfort's paying like X. Comfort electric, electric is paying like X. And I'm thinking like, wow, 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 wow. It's a good thing I did not get into that. I know better. You would, you would think I know better, right? But we're always tempted. We're always tempted, we strategize, we think about these type of things, and, and sometimes, you know, I'm no different, like I know what's best for me and what's best for me is not getting a car payment. That is best for me, that is best for you. It's staying with the used cars, all right? Used cars. But now guys, you know what the best car is to get? The cheapest car you could find, let's just go for it, 2008 Toyota Prius. Pay cash for I don't know what the cash price on one of those. If you guys know, please put in the comments below. Um, I was looking up some Priuses today, and I found that the, 29, the 2022, I found the 2022 with approximately almost 50,000 miles on it for 23,000 for the Prius. Um, and <clears throat> I found the 2015, I just looked up a 2015, it was like 18 to 20,000, like, what? they even look different and um but i did not look at the 2008 model why why 2008 because that is the least oldest year uber will allow you to use on their platform now lyft they will probably allow you to still use like a 2006 because i was using a 2006 range rover i was fine and i was able to add uh chrysler 300 that i have as well which is a 2005 never used it but i was able to go in there and add it so i could have used it technically so at the very least, 2005, they were still accepted. But I'm guessing since Uber went away from 2007 to 2008, Lyft probably done something similar. It's probably no longer 2005, it's 2006. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, on any of these things, okay? Because I'm not 100% correct on everything, okay? Now, you guys already know that. And based on the comments that I received from you guys before, you guys already know, never buy a brand new vehicle for rideshare. We all know that, okay? But a lot of us drivers, according to what I see, I talk to different people, you know, like at sometimes like airport wait a lot or I run into people, they got a brand new vehicle. They got a payment on it. Some people are renting like me. So that is, that is the case. So I feel like I have to say this, that it is not worth getting a brand new vehicle to do this especially a brand new comfort vehicle it's like okay you want to get a brand new vehicle all right get the cheapest you can get like the cheapest economy class vehicle because guess what as you could clearly see i'm doing 25 miles right now for a little over 20 dollars for a comfort ride so that is i didn't i did not count count like how much how much it really is but like what's it like 70 80 cents a mile something like that um, 
and on top of that there's all, also you know obviously time involved you know so I've taken this ride because there was the video that I recorded previously I, I said all right I'm gonna take it because it's a comfort maybe there's a tip involved but I already know people that take comfort rides don't necessarily tip some of them they go to these wealthy neighborhoods and they choose not to tip they choose a comfort ride because they do want to be in a nicer vehicle I spoke to some people yesterday out of uh, Texas and they said oh my gosh like some of the cars that would show up like literally almost like falling apart body parts on them being in different colors and I'm like thinking like how did Uber even allow that and they said Uber and they said Uber was like the worst uh, when it came to uh, Houston Texas and you know all you know some of these other places in Texas and that was a couple years ago but but nowadays guys like I'm looking at it, I'm thinking like we get paid no different and I bet if I had an Excel vehicle right now which I will be adding to the platform I will be testing how that goes I bet they're gonna pay me all the same anyways but anyways guys let me know your thoughts let me know your thoughts please uh, let's keep this thing going in the chat um, let me know guys what is your take on it am I correct by saying just get the cheapest vehicle you're gonna be getting paid over X prices or worse anyways so might might as well then might as well then um, what the heck like there's people trying to get in get out like this whole thing is messed up they're not even letting me go to the left here but um supposed to be picking up somebody here um this is ridiculous but um anyways guys I think I, I've been saying it before and I'll say it again uh, do not buy a brand new vehicle uh, to do right here but then you see me talking about um, a Tesla and I said it time and time again the only reason I would be getting a Tesla is, is because I could afford it outside Uber um, you know and I don't want to keep mentioning again how and, and why I mean I make money regardless so with that being said guys my customers calling me I'll see you guys later